Now they're arguably the most important part of any tennis tournament. Today we're talking to the MBO ball crew and the way they communicate on and off the court. Hundreds of kids uh, from across the area apply for the National Bank Open presented by Rogers Ball Crew. And from there, we select the top kids to come back and be part of the ball crew. Well, I was new coming in, so I didn't know anyone. As it went on, you kind of found a group of friends and cheer each other on when we're watching them. It's so fun to be back again. Everyone that was on my team like from past years, I saw for the first time in like two years, so it's nice to see them again. The ball crew is like a family, right? So we have every year a lot of returning ball kids who kind of know the drill and are able to mentor the younger, newer ball kids. From the first day where we pick up the uniforms, the kids grow bonds between each other, both on court, uh, where they're working on some of the greatest matches on men's and women's tennis, but also inside our ball crew room where you know there's always a game of wall ball or you know just bonding uh, kind of like a summer camp. Communication uh, on ball crew is super important to not waste the players time. One of the big ones is that if a person's at net and you have no balls at the baseline you can go like this to show them that you have no balls so that they know that you're not going to throw a ball to them. People at the net need to split balls and send them back and forth from side to side really quickly because players change serves and so when we're communicating with people to back discreetly so that like the players don't really see and the balls can be moved down to the other side of the court quickly and efficiently. To get back on court with all the players is so cool. And having the pressure of being on TV and it's really fun doing that and being really close to players that you like watching on TV.